Viewmasters. It's the podcast that we do. Viewmasters. Talk about movies that we view. Viewmasters. My friend Eric and me, Joe. Viewmasters. Hey, let's start the show. Hey, welcome to the Viewmasters. Episode 304. Friday the 13th. Again. 2009 variety. My name is Joe. My name is Eric. Hello, Eric. Hello, Joe. Uh, how's it going? Uh, it's going okay. Yeah. It's, it's going. I'm, ti- I'm, t- I'm tired. I understand. I'm tired today. Oh, I'm sorry. This movie took a lot out of me. <laughs> It was a trying time. I'm sorry. On top of a trying time. Yeah. Uh, well, before we start, before we get into this, I'd just like to say that it, today is a very important anniversary. Oh? <laughs> uh, on this date, July 28th, in 1989, Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan was released. Whoa! <laughs> Happy 33rd anniversary, <laughs> Jason Takes Manhattan. Aww. And Jason took Manhattan and it was never the same. Nope. Also, I would assume then, happy anniversary to Jason's appearance on the Arsenio Hall show. <laughs> <laughs> Truly the more notable of the two Jason appearances that weekend. Yeah. <laughs> was the Arsenio Hall show, uh, uh, like every night on the week or was it a Saturday night thing? It was every night. Okay. Yep. I did not know that. Yep, yep. Just, just like uh, your Tonight shows, your your late nights with a David Letterman, your your Jay Leno shows. Sure. <laughs> oh, good lord! <laughs> what a time! Uh, what a time! 2010 was. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> we have we have a special guest on the episode today. Apparently so. <laughs> it's Chaco. Hi, Chaco. Hey, Chaco. How's it going? <laughs> Just gonna knock the mic over. That's, it's fine. That's how it's going. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he think he is, Conan O'Brien? <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, yeah! Happy anniversary, Jason. Yes. Um, maybe. The last good Jason movie? Uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, and even then only like, you know, 15, 20 minutes of it. Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Friday the 13th, uh, Ot 9. Yes, the remake. The reboot. Yes. Whatever you want to call it. The re... Jasoning. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't hate it. No, this movie is real weird. <laughs> I was, so, I was real curious how they were going to do it. Right. I assumed that uh, Pamela Voorhees would not be the killer in this movie. Right. Uh, because when you... Th- so, it's interesting that this this movie is sort of... Uh, it felt like Friday the 13th's Greatest Hits. Yeah. Uh, like, like a it, remix. Like, yeah, basically, yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it starts with the, the end of the original Friday the 13th, basically. So yeah. we, we, we know that, uh, Pamela Voorhees did go on a rampage. Uh, and the most important thing uh, is that she's decapitated yes. in front of Jason. <laughs> um... And then, yeah, it's just the the rest of the movie is just sort of, like you said, a remix of elements from the next, you know, four or five, six possibly four, even yeah. six, I feel like. Um, at least I, I, I guess, yeah, probably four. Yeah. I'm thinking of the, uh, the kids who come to stay in the house uh, across the way from uh, Corey Feldman. Which is four. That is four. Yeah. So yeah, I was for some reason thinking that was later. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's interesting, really interesting. So four is also the one that has the guy who is looking for his dead sister. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, as we have established, uh, parts two through four all take place within the span of days. Yeah. <laughs> over over a long weekend. Yeah. Uh, so. 
and then so so that the guy who shows up looking for his sister just never makes sense. Yeah, uh, in, in the context of of those movies, uh, here they they expand it and, and give us a timeline that uh, does make sense. Right. Yeah, it's been what six weeks. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, so this is just, uh, a pet peeve of mine. Okay. Uh, so the movie, you know, as you said, uh, opens in, uh, on, uh, June 13th, 1980. Okay. Uh, and then it flashes forward to present day. Right. And then uh, six weeks later, uh, so that means that... It's in the future again. <laughs> it had not occurred to me. Well, I was going to say that, you know, uh, the six weeks later should be the present day. Right, yeah, no, that makes sense. No, this this movie takes place in the future, <laughs> primarily. Right. Excellent. They got to continue that tradition. Uh, continuing on that Friday the 13th are sci-fi movies. <laughs> or, a, you know, at the very least, speculative fiction <laughs> about what the future is going to be like. <laughs> Uh, in this case, very similar to the present day. Pretty, pretty, I mean, it's only six weeks. Yeah. <laughs> so Man, I can't that they had flying cars. I can't even imagine where I'll be in uh, early September. <laughs> it is weird that the cars were flying. I agree, <laughs> and that at least one character can teleport. <laughs> Though that is continuing again a tradition from previous movies. Yeah. Uh, at least he only did it the once. That's, that's true. I noticed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they do establish uh, that the Jason in this movie is pretty quick. Yeah, so the this is... Uh, you've heard of Fast Zombies. Yeah. Uh, this movie introduce, introduces us to Fast Jason. Yeah. Which uh, really makes for a fundamentally different Jason experience. It really does. I kind of love the Jason in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. This he's is, he's more of a person, yeah, and less of a Terminator. Yeah, he he throws tantrums. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there there's some. Uh, <laughs> I mean, hard to say humanity, and you know, just a guy who wants to go around killing everybody, right? But but there is a humanity there. Yeah, I feel like you get you get a better sense that Jason has. An inner life, yeah, in this than you do in the other movies, where where the in in the other ones it's basically just like someone distracts him with mommy, right, and and that's pretty much all he's got going on yeah. is mommy and killing people. Uh, the most of the previous Jasons, I think, part two had had kind of a limber, you know, quick Jason, sure, uh, live, yeah, uh, but uh, most of them for. The, for the, the most part, are, are just, you know, lumbering, like you said, Terminators. Yeah. Uh, particularly best Jason, Kane Hodder. Of course Kane Hodder is a fucking tank. <laughs> you don't want to get in that guy's way. <laughs> Period. Uh, so, yeah, so this is not Kane Hodder in no. this one. And, uh, thank God. Because <laughs> I'm, I mean... I don't think either of us had any chance to do any sort of background research or anything on this one. No. Uh, but, I mean, he had to have tried to audition, right? Oh, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> At least campaign for it. Unless after uh, after they didn't use him for Freddy vs. Jason, he was so just put off by it <laughs> that he swore off sure. ever playing Jason again. Right. But, I mean, clearly they were taking Jason in a different direction. And and I feel like we've said that before as a joke. Yeah. But it's actually true for it this is, movie. Yeah, yeah. No, I believe, yeah, we said that last week. Because that's what the producer said. <laughs> right. Freddy vs. Jason. They wanted a more cerebral Jason. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, he, he's... Uh, I remember when this movie came out, and, and I had not seen any Friday the 13th movies at the time. Okay. Uh, other than Freddy vs. Jason, which barely counts. Right. Um, and I remember reading that they were gonna like the concept behind it was that they're, they're gonna be making it like survivalist Jason. Like he's been living out in the woods and he's got hunting skills and your basic Friday the 13th fans you know flip their shit. I was gonna say yeah I can't imagine that, that they uh, reacted well to the Jason in this movie. Yeah. Jason doesn't take prisoners. He does, uh, but in this movie, he does. Yeah, yeah. So that 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 was a, a big difference. 
that that uh, that I imagined the people on the internet not caring for. Yeah, uh, it's weird. Yeah, because uh, what purpose? Right. Why? Yeah. Why is he keeping her? Like there, there's, you know, early on, they sort of establish that he kind of looks like his mother. Yeah, but also not really. Right. <laughs> Yeah, not at all. Yeah. Like, they're, they're both brunettes. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, I don't know, there's there's a weird pet peeve that I have when whenever movies, you know, try to have, like, set dressing, uh, like, in the past. Mm-hmm. You know, it, like, takes place in the modern day, you know, where we're looking at stuff from, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And, uh... The timeline of this movie 30, 40 years ago was like in the late 70s. Yeah. Uh, and everything looks like it's from like the 40s and 50s. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Bothers the crap out well, of me. Well, it's because everything is an Easter egg to a previous Friday the 13th movie. I mean, there is partly that. And right? the past of those was in the 40s and 50s. All right, fair. <laughs> but Friday the 13th is not the only place where i've seen that no uh, that's fair uh, you know it's it's bothered me every i time. i don't know why i'm defending it here <laughs> no it's fine <laughs> we, we all have to die on our hills somewhere. right yeah. you know, this is apparently the hill that i've chosen yep <laughs> is the the accuracy of the historical elements of the friday the 13th remake <laughs> What is my life? What do I have left? <laughs> this is all I have left. Yeah, well, unfortunately, this was the last one. No! <laughs> you mean that they're not going to remake all of them? <laughs> they should. I was excited for the remake of Friday the 13th Part 6. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, this is the first one in a while that uh, Jason's not a zombie. Yeah, that's true. He, he's, he's a living boy. He's he's a real boy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's just it, it 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 has a different flavor than yeah. the other ones, which makes sense. You, I mean, if you're gonna remake something, I appreciate that it was not just a slavish right. remake, and that it tried to do something new. Uh, I mean, ish, ish, yeah, because the formula is exactly the same. Yeah, teens go to. Camp Crystal Lake, which has been abandoned. Yeah. Jason kills them all. Right. Teens are awful. Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> they all get what they deserve. Uh, yeah, some of them. I guess, yeah, sure. not not all of them. There, yeah. there were a few that were nice. Yeah, there, there is always the one character who, you know, you cheer for to die. Yeah. And uh, he got his pretty good. Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's I, I I don't really know how to talk about it cuz it is just pieces of the previous movies. Yeah. Cuz cuz put in a blender. It, it starts out with the Pamela Voorhees, then when we see Jason for the first time, he's Baghead Jason. Right. Uh, then pretty quickly finds the hockey mask and like I said, uh, you know, there's the uh, Jared Padalecki role which is essentially the guy from part four right uh you know there, there's no real tommy jarvis in this one yeah this movie needed a telekinetic character that's that's what this movie was missing <laughs> was was carrie I, I think uh you know the mines that jason lived in they should have flooded them with uh acid or, or what was it uh, <laughs> nuclear waste from from manhattan yeah right <laughs> yeah i will say the the sort of jason cave that he lives in had it felt like a real uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part Two vibe to it, like yeah. it reminded me a lot of the lair of Leatherface's family. I there's a, I mean, I, I, during the movie, I almost even mentioned Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, really? Because because there there's a similar vibe. Yeah. Uh, also, this movie is directed by the guy who directed the Texas Chainsaw remake. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Was that before or after this movie? Uh, that was before. That was in 2003. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Also a Michael Bay production. Right. Okay. Yeah, that name threw me for a loop. 
<laughs> in the opening credits. I, I know. I had to. I had to reassure everyone. <laughs> Well, I did, but uh, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. once I, mean, I I didn't see his name in a writer or or director yeah. spot, I was fine. It's a, the, the, I mean, I guess there's a certain aesthetic that that comes with him. Yeah, that that sort of is transposed onto this, but uh, for the most part, yeah, he's, he seems pretty hands off. Yeah, yeah, uh, and also, you know, again with a movie like this, you know, there's not too much you can do to deviate from it that you know it did have me thinking like what would a michael bay directed friday the 13th movie look like <laughs> and then i started thinking what would a Zack snyder directed friday the 13th movie look like <laughs> visually interesting yeah yeah i mean you know for for all the for whatever you want to say about a snack cider uh-huh uh did you say snack cider i did indeed. excellent <laughs> As I will till the day I die. <laughs> um, I mean, he, he directed the, the Dawn of the Dead remake, mm-hmm. which still continues to be his best movie. Right. And also is probably the least full of his bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That 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 movie was a paycheck. Yeah. So he could do other stuff, probably. Yeah, it was his sort of big break. Yeah. Uh, and also, you know, it was written by James Gunn. Right. Uh, and, and you're watching it post, you know, a Man of Steel world, uh, post, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy world. Mm-hmm. You, you can see how much James Gunn left his fingerprints on that over, you know, Snag Zider. Definitely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh... So it's called Friday the Thirteenth. They got the rights to the name back. Yeah, or 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 something. What happened there? Do you know? Um. Yeah. You know what? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh. Because part of the reason. So this movie did fairly well. Oh, did it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a. It's not a bad movie. It's not terrible. Yeah. yeah. It, it. There's. There's a lot of gore I could have lived without. I'm sure. But. Uh, but yeah, it's not bad. Uh. And, and I think. Critically, it did okay. Okay. You know, I mean, you know, there's going to be the, the critics that hate anything horror movie related. Because sure. Because they just don't like horror movies. Right. But, but you know, I think consensus was that, you know, it's it's fine. Uh, but I feel like the reason that there hasn't been a sequel to it is because of the rights thing. Yeah. You know. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. Victor Miller. Just, just <clears throat> out for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Is Victor Miller the creator of the original one? He, he so is the is... screenwriter, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, I believe he is the one who has basically taken them to court. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which, you know, I mean, get your payday, man. You yeah. Know, I mean, go for it. But, you know, at the same time, you know, sometimes things grow a little bit bigger than you. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah, so we got the uh, the CW All Stars in this one for <laughs> yeah. sure, like like more so than Jason X. <laughs> well, Jason X was more of a Canadian. Uh, oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, CW wannabes. Yeah, that was a CBC All Stars. Yes, up there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Jared Padalecki at uh, the height of his supernatural fame. Yeah. Uh, Danielle Pennebaker, uh, pre-Flash? Yes, yeah, yeah. If it, was, it was 2009, then yeah, pre-Flash for sure, because that was 2012, and yeah. that premiered. Um, so, but, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know what she did. I think she was in she was in that movie Sky High, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, maybe not, I don't know, I could be thinking of someone else entirely. <laughs> um, and other than that, I, yeah, I have no idea what she did before The Flash. I mean, yeah, all I know her about her from is The Flash. Yeah. Uh, Caitlin Snow. Yes. And Killer Frost. And Killer Frost. She could have used her Killer Frost powers in this movie. She could have. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> and, you know, uh, Sam could have used his, uh, you know, uh, demon powers. Does he have powers? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Uh, I mean, Supernatural was a very long uh, <laughs> run on for television. 15 <laughs> years. Eventually yeah. he's going to get powers. Yeah. yeah. Lots of lots of weird shit happened. <laughs> 
lots of lots of up and downs with Sam and Dean. I I do. Uh, I primarily know Jared Padalecki from Gilmore Girls, as I've, uh, as I've learned. Where he where he uh, is Rory's uh, on again off again boyfriend. I don't know uh, who Rory is. Rory is uh, the the little little Gilmore girl. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> the one who's not Lauren Graham. Okay, uh, Alexis Bledel is Rory. All righty. Um, yeah, Dean uh, Dean has an interesting arc. Yeah, his name on on uh, Gilmore Girls is Dean, uh, not to be confused with uh, Jensen Ackles' character on Supernatural. Um, but yeah, Dean's uh, Dean's storyline is interesting. Um, and and sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was it was uh, uh, brings with him some sort of baggage, uh, at least in my mind. Okay. Uh, to this movie, but he was fine. Yeah, yeah. I. <clears throat> so uh, height of the pandemic. I started watching Supernatural mostly just to have something to watch, right? Just just something to put on and you know leave on while I do stuff because mm-hmm. there were fifteen years of it. Yeah, <laughs> lasted a while. <laughs> um, and like I always thought, of the two, he was the better actor. Yeah, uh, but uh, also and. This is entirely shallow of me, and I, I I also don't give a shit. Sure. Uh, he aged poorly. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Uh, over over the course of fifteen years, you you could see that he was definitely definitely aging. Huh. Uh, whereas Jensen Ackles just got prettier and prettier. <laughs> <laughs> Jensen Ackles is a pretty man. He is a very pretty man. I I uh I didn't care for Jensen Ackles initially. Uh, the from the season of Smallville that he was on. Uh, I think, yeah, he's in one at one season of Smallville. Ooh, what what did he play in Smallville? He, he uh, like Lana, like moves to yeah. Paris or something. Already, I'm and honest. yeah, and and he is her boyfriend. All right, uh, and and I forget entirely what his deal was, but uh, is he a secret supervillain? I don't think he's a secret supervillain. Okay, I think his mom, if I remember right, was a supervillain. Uh. His mom, who is Jane Seymour. Uh, I'm pretty sure was a supervillain. And okay. Lana had, like, a mysterious, uh, lower back tattoo that maybe gave her, like, witch powers. I don't remember. <laughs> wow. What? I don't remember. That, that is a show I bailed on early. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's the right choice. <laughs> um, but, but I, but I remember not caring for him sure. from, uh, from Smallville. And then, uh, when he got Supernatural, because I think Supernatural started... Maybe the year after his season of Smallville, I was like, oh, they're doing more with this guy? Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, but then from the episode of Supernatural that I've seen, he's pretty entertaining. Yeah, I, I, I grew fond of him over over the, the course of the show. I, I still don't think he's a great actor. But, sure. Uh, you know, yeah, he's, he's pretty to look at and he's fun. Yeah. Uh, he did the voice of Red Hood. Yes, in uh, Under the Red Hood. Yeah. yeah. I, I did not care for that. Yeah, also, I don't care for that storyline. I don't really remember much about that animated yeah. one. Uh, they remade it as a short. <laughs> yes, yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. Yep, <laughs> uh, and all of this has everything to do with Friday the Thirteenth Remake. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. It's, it's kind of hard to talk about. It's a it's a slasher. Yeah, uh, you, you know what you're getting with a slasher. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the the kills were. Uh, I mean, the ones that were inspired by uh, previous kills from the series uh, made me smile. Yeah. Uh, like, we get uh, somebody hanging up in a sleeping bag. Uh, that was we, a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Uh, we get uh, uh, Ryan Hansen get shot in the head with an arrow, <laughs> uh, which I wish had been in 3D, unfortunately. <laughs> um, you know when the, uh, the cop got uh, impaled on the door. Yeah. Uh, and his eyeball was like hanging off the end of the, the, the stick or whatever it yeah. is. Uh, I did wonder, was this movie in 3D? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it could have been. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I believe it was. Okay. Yeah. All right. Or at least there is a 3D version of this. That makes sense. You know? Yeah, that was around the time when they were doing stuff in 3D again for some reason. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, that's luckily seemed to, to sort of 
stabilized off, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. I haven't noticed it in a while, anyway. Me neither. Uh, you know, James Cameron's going to come back and ruin it all over again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the Avatar, the shape of water. <laughs> That, no, it's the way of water. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, Avatar meets the fish man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Daniel Panabaker from Things. Yep. Uh, Ryan Hansen. Uh, Dick Veronica Casablancas. Mars, Dick Casablancas himself. Yep. Just Dick casablancas it up. He, pretty much. Doing, doing his thing, and it is a delight to see always. It is. I like that guy and 10 years ago I guess basically at the, the time of this movie I would absolutely have uh, fan cast him as Mr. Gold oh yeah along with Adam Scott as Blue Beetle oh man I could 100% see that oh that'd be great yep <sighs> too bad things that'll never happen yep uh, I, so when the Veronica Mars reboot came out uh, I was very excited to see Ryan Hansen back in that show, because mm-hmm. uh, I feel like uh, he kind of went away for a while, and, and uh, like I know he had that uh, Ryan Hansen solves murders or whatever. Yeah, Ryan Hansen solves crimes on TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I did not care for that. I haven't watched that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know he was on uh, Two Broke Girls, I believe, for a while. Okay, I, or... I feel like I've seen him like on that, and maybe some. Not that I watched that show. No, I just, you know, flip the channels. Desperately need to point this out. Yeah. I have not watched that show. <laughs> no one is accusing you of watching or enjoying Two Bro Girls. I feel accused. <laughs> non j'accuse. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, uh, that and like just other random sitcoms I think I've seen him on. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, he has been around. Uh, I, I'm hoping he's part of the party down revival i think i think everybody except for uh lizzie kaplan okay. is part of the party down revival so what's the deal with that i don't know hmm. Hmm. she's doing stuff is she i don't know okay she was on masters of sex i, I don't know what she's doing now okay ah <laughs> <sighs> yeah friday the 13th friday the 13th uh yeah it's fine yeah i enjoyed it we got a a diverse cast of characters yeah we got uh 15 white people yep and then a black person and an asian person and neither of them die first that's true yeah yeah they do all die yes but but not first yeah Yeah. uh safe to say i mean well there's two survivors by the end. Right, yeah. And, and honestly, not who I thought would have survived I, the end. I was, uh, well, I mean, the fact that Whitney was still alive uh, was just really convenient. Yeah. Uh, that she was the one that, that Jason kept alive. Um, it did add uh, some interesting stakes yeah. uh, to Clay's story uh, and wanting them to get reunited. But yeah, I did not expect Danielle Panabaker to die. Yeah. Um, I, I actually expected, uh, Jared Padalecki to die, uh, just to, in keeping with the, the final girl, uh, trope. Right. But I guess, I guess it was two that had, uh, had two survivors, a man and a woman. So if, if we're, if we're sticking with that. Yeah. All right. And, and, uh, you know, and of course, uh, I, I kind of almost forgot about it. Uh, there is a, a window crashing scene. There is a window crash. I waited for it. Uh, uh, a body, a body gets thrown through a windshield, and I was like, "Oh, is that all we're gonna get?" Right. But no, there is actually a scene where Jason uh, grabs someone through a window and pulls them through. Yep. Uh, that made me smile. <laughs> I was glad to see that. Yeah. Uh, so I've I've mentioned in previous episodes I don't like it when we can see Jason's eyes. Right. Uh, we we do see his eyes occasionally uh, in this movie, and I was totally fine with it. It's fine in this because he's a different character. Yeah. Because he's he's not the the mindless murdering Jason that we know. He yeah. is an actual person uh, who has thoughts and presumably feelings. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I I agree. I didn't have a problem with being able to see his eyes in this. And also they they do it sparingly. Yeah. Uh, and because because I, I feel like in some of the Kane Hodder ones it was just like you really got to focus on my eyes. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm an actor. They're so emotive. <laughs> he is a lump. He's a tank. 
He's he's <laughs> killing it as Jason. <laughs> Best Jason. Best Jason. Hashtag. Uh, in all seriousness, I do think this is the best Jason. Yeah, he was really good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Derek Mears. Yes. Uh, uh, kind of an actual actor. Yeah. Not, not just a stunt guy. I was going to say, I recognize his name. Yeah, he, he's been in stuff. He was in the the J.J. Abrams uh, uh, Star Treks. Okay. Uh, he played as like, the helmsman robot that you can like see the back of his head. Okay. Uh, he is uh, good friends with Matt Gorley. Oh, nice. Uh, they were in improv classes together. Uh, he appeared some uh, occasionally on the Super Ego podcast. Okay. Uh, so, so you know, he's got some, some comedy chops in him, too. It's funny. I thought of Amanda Lund while I was watching this. <laughs> like, is she in this? <laughs> it seems like maybe she's in this. I don't know if she was or not. I don't I, think she was. I don't believe so. Yeah. <laughs> but for some reason... Like, I thought, is Whitney? Is that Amanda Lund? I don't know. That's Amanda Reggetti. Oh, okay. Of The Mentalist. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Dentist The Mentalist. Not, not, uh, not Lauren Tunney. Robin no, Tunney. Robin Tunney. Yeah. Yeah. I, my, my parents watch The Mentalist sometimes during the day, and I, I go over there... <laughs> Every now and then, just during the afternoon to hang out. Yeah, and, uh, well, sure. And The Mentalist is on. My my dad used to watch The Mentalist when it was on. Yeah. Know? And uh, I always... <laughs> whenever it was on, I would say, so you like this, but you don't like Psych. It's the same <laughs> show. <laughs> I have not mentioned Psych to them. <laughs> I should do that. You should. <laughs> I should get into Psych. You should. Maybe yeah, I will. Spot the pineapple. Yeah. Oh, right, because there's a pineapple in every episode. Yes, there is. Okay. <laughs> I know that from a commercial. <laughs> oh, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. I don't have much else, honestly. Me neither. This is the last one. Uh, I'm assuming at some point there will probably be more. Probably. Uh, the, the only real thing that they've done since this movie came out was a video game, which... Got taken off uh, the servers pretty quickly. Oh, really? Of rights issues. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's kind of a game that I, I wish I could have played. Because uh, uh, you could choose to either be uh, a camp counselor or you could choose to be Jason. That's awesome. <laughs> if you're going to play that game, you got to play as Jason. Well, sure, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is the end of our series. Yeah, almost, almost, almost. Oh, we got we we got one more. Do we? One more we're gonna do. I I, I can't imagine what it would be. I mean, uh, you know what comes after Friday the Thirteenth, right? Uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Uh, yeah, okay, yes, technically that's correct. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> I am referring, of course, to a Saturday the 14th. Ooh. Yeah. Which is the thing that you told me about. Maybe you should talk about it, because I don't know anything about it. Uh, I just think we should watch it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so in the mid-80s, uh, you know, I'm guessing at the height of the popularity of these movies, uh, there was a movie called Saturday the 14th that came out uh, that... that uh, I guess I always believed it was a parody of these movies. Okay. Uh, I, I have seen it uh, a couple times. Uh, it is not. Okay. It, it is a comedy. Uh, but uh, it's it's about vampires? <laughs> what? Hold on. See, I had assumed that it was a parody of these movies. <laughs> what the fuck? Yep. <laughs> You know what I was waiting for uh, in this movie? Because uh, this movie takes place all over the course of basically one day. Right. Uh, just a shot of a calendar. Just show, it what day, show us what day it is. Like, we see Jason's bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Like, he could easily have a calendar in there with just days ticked off. And, sure. You know, it's Friday the 13th. I wonder, because, uh, you know, days on uh, calendars repeat. Yeah. Uh, was, was June 13th, 1980 uh, a Friday? And mm. was uh, this June 13th, uh, 2009? I don't know. And uh, my cat's being an asshole? Yeah, he's uh, clawing at my feet. Yep, good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not distracting at all while we're doing a podcast. <laughs> Get us together, Chaco. 
Yeah, this is why you usually go in the attic. <laughs> he's been fine. He is. He's, yeah. he's been quiet, at least, so that's good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, still up for Saturday the 14th? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, almost more into it now that I know it has nothing to do with. Yeah, it's a, kind of a palate cleanser. Excellent. Yeah. And, uh... Would you like to say anything about the movie? Yeah, June 13, 2009 was a Saturday. Boo! Oh, no. Boo! Well, to be fair... They probably filmed this in 2008. Oh! Damn! <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> Alrighty, so we'll be back, uh, well, probably not next week, because uh, you you got a comic convention. I do, I, I'm traveling next week, but uh, the following week for sure. Alright. Uh, any, anything making you not miserable? <laughs> I watched Wild Wild West last uh, night. Kevin Klein. Yes, uh, Will, Will Smith. Smith. Yeah, yes. it was horrendous. Yeah, it's not good. No, it was it was a slog, <laughs> but uh, but it was fun to watch. It is. It's kind of fun. Yeah, uh, I don't hate that movie, but also fully recognize that it is bad. Yeah, no, it's real bad. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, I, I don't know that it's bringing me happiness, but. Uh, it, but it was a nice, nice respite. It's good. Into the, the weird steampunk 1870s. Yep. With, uh, was it Joel Silver uh, finally getting his uh, giant spider? Oh, it's, it's um, uh, John Peters. John Peters. That's yes. It. Yes. Another super producer. Yep. <laughs> uh, deadliest killers in the animal kingdom. Yep. <laughs> How about you? Um, you know what, uh, I, uh, went to a comic shop today with, uh, my girlfriend and one of my closest friends. Oh, who's that? And, uh, his name is Joe Grunenwald. Oh, I've never met him. And Sounds like a real asshole. We had pizza and watched a pretty okay movie, and that's what's bringing me joy this week. It's pretty good. It's been a good evening. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like having adventures. Yeah. Was that an adventure? It was. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have a very loose definition of adventure. Yep. That's fair. I don't want it more exciting than this. No, I get I it. Cannot yeah. handle it. I don't either. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, Saturday the fourteenth. Next time. Sounds good. We'll be. We'll. Uh, we'll blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Saturday the fourteenth. See you then, folks. Good. Thank you for listening to The View Masters. You can subscribe to the show directly at view.guttertrash.net or at iTunes and leave us a review. Visit view.guttertrash.net for email information and links to Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time on The View Masters. Yeah.